Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do um, your oracle, yeah, your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's go ahead and jump into this Aquarius. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so some of you need to forgive someone. It could be a female. It could be a mother, sister, friend. You need to forgive someone. Um, it's a big deal. It is a big deal. Uh, before abundance comes in, before the floodgates, before spirit, God, whatever you believe in, um, before it you know, uh, the universe unleashes abundance to you. So they want you to go through this forgiving process here. Um, it also could be a man, but a lot of feminine energy here. So it's like a deep forgiving of maybe a person who didn't show up in your life in the capacity that you thought they should have, um, a relationship that um, it just wasn't ever nurtured correctly. Maybe even there was someone else who was causing or running interference in this relationship. Therefore, it never uh, turned out well. There was always a third party interfering with maybe you and your sister or uh, you and your friend or something of that nature. You and your girlfriend, you know, uh, your good friend. It, it just uh, something was always running interference, causing problems. And it could be someone in your community. It could be like a, a mom pits the daughters against each other. Uh, it could be a friend, you know, a friend group. And one friend likes to kind of corner one friend and talk about another. and Some issue like that. But anyway, something needs to be forgiven here. You have you are good enough. And that's at the full moon in Virgo here. Um, have you been too humble? In a situation I think you have you have eaten humble pie long enough Aquarius show the world who you are what you have to offer um, you have been so humble that you have been evasive and you've been putting yourself last um, do something good for you do something good for others um, you also have um, been too critical of yourself and maybe even another person or someone was too critical of you they owe you an apology, okay? Um, Aquarius, please stop second guessing yourself because whatever it is you're doing or should be doing, this is what you should be doing. The universe is like trying to prompt you, push you into something. Um, you're worrying too much about the wrong thing and you're gonna attract that energy. Uh, full moon in Virgo. We have the Virgo season coming up. And then uh, we have this full moon in Aquarius coming up again. This is the second full moon in Aquarius. It's something like a blue moon because this never happens. Again, sur surrender to the divine. Full moon. Can you see that? Yeah. Surrender to the divine. The full moon. Um, Aquarius. Uh, again, abundance is here for you. But there needs to be an apology made or forgiveness here. It says that with the surrender to the divine or full moon it says that um questions that you answered the questions that you had around the new moon or that you asked around the new moon will be answered around the full moon and we have the full moon coming up august 22nd take advantage of the full moon ritual with me and like-minded individuals the link is below um it says that the answers you need will come to you and it also says that a wish that you made is about to come true um, right now, it's make it or break it time. The universe wants you to prove your commitment to this wish, to this thing. Do you? How bad do you want it? If things are out of control right now, stay calm. Um, also, it's telling you that it's time to move past something. And moving past something is also like forgiving. Forgiving is releasing. So something needs to be released here. Um, once again, you just need to forgive someone and, and just release all of that negative energy. Uh, you may find yourself thinking about this person or that place or that event that happened. You know, from time to time, you're really not over it. You need to do some ritual here. Either make amends, apology, um, write a letter, some type of symbolic ritual to let this out of your heart space because it's still there. 
Um, it could be with a feminine energy. We have a lot of feminine energy here. It also could be with a masculine energy. Some of you, this could just be same sex. You have not gotten, you have not gotten over what a same sex relationship did to you and how this person played you or played with you or played on your emotions. Okay. Um, it looks like someone is realizing um, that you're gone. It's over. It's done. The door is shut. Okay. Because we have, uh, we have the coffin. Okay. So this says that something is a no go. It's over. It's done. That when you put the final nail in the coffin, right? Um, you nail the coffin shut because you typically you never going to open it again, you know? Um, so something is over. Um, this could be a relationship. It could be a familiar relationship. It, it could be um, friendship. It could be a romantic connection. But something is over. You're saying no to something. It's no to maybe um, some masculine energy that maybe wanted sex only, a sex only connections. For, yeah, a sex only connection, friends with benefits. Um, or, um, yeah, it just... It never turned over. It never turned into anything. It just got stagnant, stuck, and toxic. And this person trying to dominate you with their viewpoint. You know, um, wanting you to want the same things that they wanted out of the connection here. But it seems like you're, you're coming to a place of um, understanding that this needs to be over. And you're going to redefine yourself here. You definitely could have been dealing with a player, yeah, player, a player, an F boy, F girl, okay? Especially if it was same sex. Somebody who was just playing, um, just wasn't taking relationships and, and um, connections serious. It wasn't serious for them. It was fun. It was games. It was, a, it was playful. It was toxic. Um, the devil card talks about playfulness, okay? Because um, that's the playfulness that shows up in serious uh, situations or relationships. So that would be like you being playful at a business meeting or uh, a staff meeting. It's not a time to play. So it's like that's the toxicity, that's the disconnect um, that was going on between you and this person. This person didn't know what they had before them or they didn't recognize it or they did recognize it, but they just didn't know how to show up to the connection because it looks like someone is saying, um, I pray for someone just like you, but they didn't know what to do with you when you finally came into their life. And they are, they want to tell you, um, I have things I haven't told you. Yeah. Um, I'm picking up that this person is very insecure. They kept secrets. Um, they kept people around. They, um, they were always, um, very insecure so they were always met meticulous and strategizing in terms of how to keep you confused or keep you in that playful banter like energy run after me as I you know chase me as as I run type situation um this person didn't know how to show up to um a serious connection they were used to playfulness okay and again we have another card reiterating of playfulness and not and uncaring and not being serious this card specifically talks about possibly a woman being under the age of 25 25 and under who is just not serious about life and connection not romantic ones anyway and this could be you this could be someone you dealt with and you, they don't have to be 25 or younger um they could just have a very youthful vibe playful vibe about them they can even look young for their age and um this is how they showed up to the connection. You could be a blonde female, like you could have blonde hair, um, or this person felt like you were blonde or you were blind to um, what they were doing. You were unknowing, but it seems as if Aquarius, you knew what was going on, or the other person, Aquarius, if you were doing this to someone else, they knew what was going on. They knew that um, you were playing them, that, um, that uh, they had prayed for someone just like you. They didn't know. They don't know what to do with you. At this point, um, all you can offer this person is friendship. Okay, 
and this will be a long distance friendship we don't see each other we don't talk every day maybe not even every month or at times not at all it's just more so um it's a peaceful resolution here okay so that's what you can offer someone either it in a romantic sense or um even if it was a friendship okay um it seems as if um, somebody wants to heal the friendship with you also it seems as if you need to forgive something or someone needs to forgive you and you guys can move into the friendship level here we're talking about a very significant union here um i'm talking about something that was solid and stable at one time uh but then someone um they ran once again runner chaser type situation because someone has intimacy issues okay um they don't like to be in intimate connections it's not what they're good at again they're good at playfulness and childishness and um banter and friskiness and you know games this person is or could be highly selfish too um, they exude a very high level of selfishness. Um, either they know it or, or it's unknowing to them or it's unconscious to them. But this person could be very selfish. This could be you too, Aquarius. I don't know. Get in where you fit in. Um, also, a relationship possibly didn't get off the ground or it, it always had a lot of false starts where we thought we were going this way, but then it turned and went the other way. It was always a reversal or interference because maybe what someone was holding from you is that they do hardcore, dr hardcore drugs and they have no plan to stop. There also could be um, addiction here that played a part in this. This person could be when they get high, when they get drunk or whatever they do, um, th another person shows up and um, they go into that very selfish nature here. Um, again, toxicity, addiction here. This person is not being is at a bad place right now, maybe even bad health physically, but someone is at an inability to cope with the fact that it is completely over. It is done. I think someone feels the energy of this being done, whether you told the person or not, because, yeah, Aquarius or the other person could have said, I'm out of here. OK, um, it's just not worth staying or sticking around because someone was someone's childishness, immaturity. Um, won't allow them to take responsibility for hurting you, okay? And they're saying that they're not going to take responsibility for hurting you. Um, irresponsible, immature people don't take responsibility for anything, especially when it has something to do with emotions, especially narcissists. And I don't know, you would know if you're dealing with a narcissist or not. There's so many different facets of narcissism. So, um, be careful with that word because I know it gets thrown around a lot. If you were dealing with someone who is married or um, who was married, they, they are tired of being a husband or a wife. Or if um, you are married, someone is tired of showing up in that husband or wife capacity. This could be you, Aquarius. Um, right now, again, to reiterate, the cards want you to know that um, it's time to release negativity. Okay, it's time to release um, those toxic binds or bonds, um, it happened. Whatever it was, it happened. And you have to move forward, okay? You have to get out there. Get back out there and stop being a wallflower. Stop letting life go on around you. Um, don't dwell on this too long. If you stay anywhere too long, then that's where you live. That's where you are a resident of. Um, be sad, grieve, but also get up. Also, don't close your heart chakra, uh, Aquarius, just because of um, what happened to you. Some of you are ferociously, um, you know, d defending or um, you ferociously defend your family, okay, against um, maybe a man that you were married to. This person was to come into your life and give you that family or that relationship for the short term. It wasn't for the long term. It was for you to realize what it is you really want or need. This person was very controlling or they have sexual addiction or addiction that they need to get in control of because it causes for another side personality, individual to show up in the connection. Therefore, it caused the connection to be in poor health and bad health and ultimately um, death. 
this also could be death here. So it could be someone could be um, passing. I hope that it will be in their sleep from old age. I, I pray that that is um, for someone there. Um, but there could be a physical death here. There also is someone dying to the to their old self, to their old way of living, their old philosophy. Um, again, Aquarius, do know that you are good enough. Get out there. Stop second guessing yourself. You have this. You got this. Put it out there to the world. All right. So this is what I have for you, Aquarius. If you want to get your own personal oracle reading like this, you can go over to the website book there. You can also um, text a question to the number below. Do keep in mind that the number below is a business number. It is not my personal cell phone. Um, so uh, let's just keep that in mind. Thank you. Take care. Many blessings.